and welcome to Sarah Stamper Retreat. Today we're going to be creating a quick card with a really nice technique to bring out the most in our embossing folders. So we're going to add some shine to our embossed panel with some gilding wax. So we're going to be using the 3D embossing folder of the month from Spellbinders which is this lovely pine one and this is going to be the first of my Christmas in July cards. So I'm going to be using this Copper Shine Metallic Gilding Polish and that's a Cosmic Shimmer one and I have to say I've had problems with this technique in the past so I'm going to try it using one of these scrapbook.com ink blending tools which is like a rounded end ink blended tool and I bought this specifically because I wanted to try techniques like this so we can work together to see how easy it is. This sponge comes in the top of this so you can try that I find that the squared off edges don't work very nicely with this so they're great for other techniques but not for this particular one. So I'm going to add some of the wax to my tool and then I'm going to just take off the excess on here because I don't want it to get all like globby and then I'm just going to kind of lightly apply it over here. And I'm just kind of lightly dusting it over the surface and actually I'm really liking how well it's kind of picking up that top layer and there's a little bit going on to the bottom layer but not too much it's not making it into like a copper cardstock which is the problem I've had before before I've had big globs of the paste going on and getting onto the background of the cardstock and this is giving actually a much nicer effect. You can see I've just opened this embossing tool. I've not done this tool before. So this is kind of a beginner's guide as such. Okay, you can see I've put a bit too much on there. It's gone a bit on the background there. I actually made the background bigger than I needed it because I thought that I would probably make a couple of mistakes because it is my first time doing it. So I would say go for a nice thin layer of the gilding wax and build it up if you want more rather than that time I had a bit too much on my sponge. And I think because it's just in that one section it's not actually ruining the panel too much. I'm just going through and adding some more to places that aren't quite as shiny now. Now I'm going to go and wash this right now because this stuff dries really hard. So I think that was actually really successful. You can see that's my sponge tool now that I've washed it off. You can't really see that I've used it too much so definitely rinse that straight away. And then my learnings from that are don't try to put on a thicker layer. Keep to a really thin layer of the polish. Go in nice kind of fine strokes. And definitely, for me, this kind of rounded edge tool is an absolute must. I've never had success with that before with the kind of like square edge tools. And actually, this bit that I've got on here where I've kind of like taken the excess off my brush, you could definitely die cut something out of that. That's really pretty. So I'm going to set the panel aside for a second while I just create my bow. So this large bow die is the stitching die of the month from Spellbinders and I think this one is absolutely gorgeous. So let me talk you through it and then we're going to make the bow. We're not going to do any stitching today but I will have a video for you in a couple of weeks where I'm going to do the stitching on it. But I think this is so versatile because you can basically create a quick card for anything where you would be giving a present, birthdays, anniversaries, Christmas, anything you can think of really. So this is the piece that goes up the card. So I've only used the outsides of everything today because I don't want to do the stitching but these inside pieces are the pieces you use if you want to do the stitching. Then this bit kind of goes either side of the bow when you want to do it across the card. And then we've got these pieces that's up, obviously the main body of the bow and then this is the piece to go across here. Again, all the stitching pieces are removable, so I've removed those for today's card. These pieces are the bits that go in here. And then this piece could be used 
as a decorative piece so you could kind of repeat it up as kind of almost like the wrapping paper on your card or I think it'd be really cute for if you're doing a square present on a square card to put it each way and do it like that there's lots of different uses for it and you can use this with it as well so that could go on top of it if you wanted or that could be used separately so there's so many different ways to use this but like I say today I've only used the outside pieces not the stitching pieces so let's just glue this bow together so I've created this bow in copper cardstock but I've actually got two shades of copper cardstock I just happen to have them both in my stash and so I've used both shades so I'll show you where I've used the darker shade when I get to it so this is the lighter of the two shades but if you don't have two shades you could always use like golden copper or you could use copper with a brown or something like that and then this second shade of pit copper the darker one I've got a piece of that to go over the centre of the boat really I didn't need the two pieces but I cut the two pieces because I was just going to use the lighter shade and so I thought that by putting this one over the top it give it just that bit of dimension and then I'm also going to add these pieces in here so these pieces are the darker shade as well just to give a bit of definition to kind of like the underside of the bow and then I'm going to just add these pieces to the back. So then I'm going to stamp my Merry Christmas sentiment. I'm going to heat emboss that. And actually I'm going to try out a couple of colours of embossing powder to see which one goes best. So I'm going to stamp that twice. So I'm going to try out my normal gold embossing powder. I'm also going to try some copper embossing powder. I was worried that the copper might be a little bit brown but I think it actually goes quite well with this so I'm going to go with the copper one. So I've cut this and so now I just want to cut kind of a tag end on it and it looks like a present tag. So then I'm going to put my card together so I'm going to glue this to my card front. I've cut this down to just an eighth of an inch smaller than my card front so I get a really small border on the outside. I often put a block on my cards while I'm just kind of adding glue to the next bit just so that it kind of adheres a bit while I'm preparing the next piece. And then I'm going to pop the bow up on some foam pads. I'm going to do the same with the tag as well. So then I'm going to add this onto here. And then I'll add this on like this. And then I'll add these smaller pieces either side as well. Those are just the pieces that kind of finish off that crossover ribbon. So then there's that card finished. I really love how that came out. I like how this turned out in the background and also I love the fact that this looks amazing without the stitching. I'm really excited to try it with the stitching as well. I'm like absolutely in love with that die. I can see myself using that so much. So I really hope you enjoyed today's card. If you did, I'd appreciate you clicking like below. You can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I have a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's cards are listed in the description below. And there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.